before I give you some basic rules here, um, in this clinic, we're going to talk about this thing a few different ways. Uh, we're going to talk about how to read the first level as a zone read type play there for your quarterback. We're also going to teach you how to read it as, with a second level and give you a couple variations with that. And then we're also going to have another uh, way we utilize where we pull uh, a tight end or a sniffer, and he's really the, the pulling tackle, and that gives you an opportunity to uh, read the third level and, and win off of a plus one. So those are just a few different ways we're going to talk about it in today's clinic, but now we'll show you just some base rules for your offensive line. All right, so let's get going here with the clinic. Uh, we're going to talk about a number of different things here. We're going to talk about... Uh, Tackle wrap as a first level RPO read, a second level, and a third level read. So let's just talk about the run play itself. So it's basically an ISO. Um, so however you want to categorize it, it can also be used as a misdirection counter type play. And then I'm going to also introduce you guys to uh, some variations that you may already be using, uh, but give you guys a few different options with this play. So you know, as we're running this play here to the left, just to rule it out for your, for your offensive lineman, um, I, I, on the front side, basically what you're going to say is, all right, this guy's going to block number two LOS. This guy's going to block number one LOS. Another way to look at it is that, you know, we really want to run it at this B gap. You know, that, that's our ideal of running it, uh, way of running it. Uh, although we will run it here at the, uh, at the three technique and enter in the A gap there. But ideally, we would like to run it at the B gap. So another way to look at this as you're, as you're, um, making some rules here for your offensive line would be, you know, you're going to number one LOS, number two LOS there on the play side. The center is going to double team to the backside linebacker. If you're the backside guard, you're going to have number one LOS, and then the backside tackle is going to skip pull, and, and that's basically who you're going to ISO right there. So uh, just in terms of the rules with this thing, um, you know, in terms of on the front side, it's number one LOS, number two LOS. The center is going to try to double team the, the tighter technique, the, the nose guard to a backside linebacker. Backside guard is going to have number two, uh, one LOS, and then your tackle is going to be your puller here with the tackle wrap. We use a skip pull um, technique where we're going to try to stay square and now enter in there. Again, we want to run this thing at the, uh, the, the tighter technique or at the shades, we can have a B gap entry point, but we will run it there so we don't limit ourselves with it. But in an ideal world, we would like to run it right there. So that's just, you know, kind of ruling this thing up for you guys with your offensive line. Those are just some base rules on how we do it. 